What's up, y'all? I'm Kyle. You're watching Driving and Vibing. Today, we are getting into the holiday spirit and sharing 10 gift ideas for RV life. Now, if you're anything like me, you do not like shopping for gifts. I love giving the perfect gift, but roaming aimlessly around a store is not my idea of a good time. So if you're in the same boat as me, hopefully this list will resonate with you and help you find the perfect gift for that RVer in your life. So stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, y'all, and thank you so much for joining me here today. Let me start off by saying the number one gift on this list is part of a giveaway today. If you stick around to the number one gift, we'll tell you how to get entered, simple to get entered. It's a big ticket item, and we are happy to be hosting this giveaway just in time for the Christmas season. Also, if these 10 gifts don't resonate with you, fear not because we have a list of 101 gift ideas for RV life. I thought it might be a little too long to go over 101 gift ideas in a video, but I'll link that article below in the comment section and in the description to give you even more ideas, everything from stocking stuffers, big ticket items, and even gifts for the RVer that has everything. So make sure you check out that list of 101 RV gifts. Without any further ado, let's hop into the list. Living the RV Life, it is a book by Mark and Julie Bennett, also known as RV Love in the community. Now, this is a perfect gift for someone who's contemplating RV life or anyone who just loves getting out on the open road for the weekend in an RV because they go over multiple case studies in the book to show how other people has, have transitioned from sticks and bricks to RV living. And also, it's a full colored coffee table style book, so it just looks awesome. Whether you're wanting to travel in a travel trailer, class A, motorhome, van life, this book focuses on all the different types of RV travel. But don't take our word for it. Here's a recent Amazon review. After arriving, I didn't put the book down for over an hour. The idea of RVing isn't new to me. Having owned eight already, I now have the right one for me. But if this book was available years ago, I might have saved a ton of money. Awesome present, full of valuable information, highly recommended from us. And hey, we love RV Love, so check out that book. Number nine on our list is the WeBoost Drive Sleek Cell Booster. So cell boosters come in all shapes and sizes. They make RV specific units that cost close to 500 bucks. They also make more intense car units that cost anywhere from two to 300 bucks. But this Drive Sleek is pretty affordable. Right now at 100, 185 bucks, we feel like it is the most bang for your buck if you want a cell booster. Here's a few caveats with the WeBoost Drive Sleek. It is made for use inside a vehicle. If you have a Class A or a Class C, that's perfectly fine. If you're towing a trailer, you can still use it, but for us, we keep it stationed in our tow vehicle. This way, we can use it on our phones while we're driving, but even if we're set up at camp, we can also stick our cellular hotspot in there while we're set up camp, and we can still receive that boosted hotspot signal from our truck. So there are ways around it. It's not gonna be as powerful as the $500 unit, and it's not gonna be send out a big of a signal to use multiple devices. The drive sleek, you can only use one device at a time. But if you're looking for the most bang for your buck and just an entry into cell booster life, especially if it's an RV gift that you don't know if someone else is gonna actually use it for a $500 worth of value, I think the $185 price point is a great way to get into the RV booster game and give someone a super valuable gift. Here is what a recent review says. We drove from Texas through New Mexico into the Colorado mountains. We lost signal in six areas on our way to a remote cabin. But using the WeBoost all the way home, we never lost signal and two others were using my phone as a hotspot for Wi-Fi. So there you have it. Lots of value in the WeBoost Drive Sleek. Let's get to number eight. Number eight on our list is the Fi dog collar. Now, I know all of you aren't dog owners, but for those RVers who are dog owners, one of our biggest fears hitting the road with a dog was losing our sweet pup somewhere out boondocking. Uh, it, we were always very vigilant about knowing where River was and keeping her on a leash, 
but that fear never left us. So we got a Phi dog collar, which is a GPS tracking dog collar. How it works is we put it on our dog Riv and we can set a safe zone. So inside our RV, wherever we're boondocking upon arrival, we can set a new safe zone, give it maybe a 20 foot perimeter. So whenever River leaves that safe zone, we'll be alerted that she is no longer there and we can track her by GPS. But the battery life on these things is pretty awesome because it uses both your local Wi-Fi signal and GPS cellular signal to conserve the battery. It lasts well over two months. I mean, this thing, it goes from about 100% to 95% in one week. So seriously, if it's operating off the local Wi-Fi network, it's gonna save a lot of battery life. Another reason why we like it is because it tracks our dog's steps and it logs that information on a historical level. So we can go back and see how many steps she walked last month compared to this month, motivating us to make sure our dog gets all the exercise. I think this is an awesome gift for a dog owner in RV life who doesn't want to lose their sweet pup, but also wants to encourage getting out there and you know going on walks because of the daily number of steps it tracks for your dog. Now we're all tracking our steps. So it's pretty cool. Number seven on our list is a national park pass. This is just a super useful gift for anyone who loves to travel. We use the national park pass out west monthly easily it costs 80 bucks but the price of park admission is going up and this pass gives you free entry into all those parks unlimited as you want to come and go so you're not going to be racking up all those entry fees you can get discounted camping with it i believe at corps of engineer sites but not at national park or national forest campgrounds so it does have its restrictions but as far as park entry uh, it's well worth it it can cost up to 30 bucks to get into a park. That's pretty expensive. You just have to go to a few parks to get your money's worth. And if you're giving it as a gift, it's gonna be a great incentive for someone to get out there and go use the parks, go use that pass. Uh, we've, ha we've had a national park pass, pass every year on the road and highly recommend it for the encouragement it gives us to get to a park and knowing that we don't have to pay to enter. Next up on our list is a tire pressure monitor system for your trailer. So probably if you have a drivable RV, I'm guessing that it has tire pressure monitoring on there anyways. So you won't have to worry about that if that's the case. But if you have an older class C unit or if you're pull pulling a trailer behind you, we highly recommend a tire pressure monitor system. These just screw onto the valve caps and with a signal, you can see inside the vehicle what the tire pressure is and what the temperature is. So you really know the safety conditions of your tires on the trailer while you're driving. It's pretty awesome. Uh, the little screen will tell you all the information you need to know if you're worried about safety and blowouts with tires. This is a great gift because, hey, you get a little safety out of it. You get a little peace of mind out of it. Technology is always fun. So monitor your tires while you're driving make sure blowouts don't occur that's why we like the tire pressure monitor system especially for a christmas gift next up on our list is rv snap pads rv snap pads are a newer thing on the rv market but what they do is they connect to your landing gear making a more stable environment once you get set up they're made out of recycled tires so that's always a big plus be able to repurpose and reuse what would just be landfill trash and making it something useful. So here's what SnapPad has to say about the functionality of their product. It increases stability in three ways, a larger footprint, more vibration dampering, and by conforming to, to uneven terrain like gravel. They also make these for tongue jacks. They make them in all sizes. So no matter what your landing gear is, you should be able to go on that SnapPad site put in the inch diameter that you have, and there you go, you'll get some snap pads for your landing gear, really making it a much more stable environment once you get set up in your site. Next up on our list is one of my most favorite additions to our RV life, and that is the Blix e-bike. Olivia has wanted a bike for a long time. 
I've finally been convinced that, yeah, I think it would be good to get a bike, but I wanted an e-bike. Never having rated one before, I just like the idea of having a bike with an electric engine. It sounds pretty cool. And uh, every one of my expectations was blown away when I actually used the e-bike. It is so amazing. This unit that we're recommending today is a foldable unit. So that means you can fold it up, store it in the back of your vehicle pretty easily for storage. That's what we need for life on the road. So it's easy to fold, easy to store in the back of the truck, but and easy to set up. We got it rolling within 15 minutes of opening up the box. My favorite thing is the throttle. <laughs> you can pedal and they have pedal assist. So you can set the pedal assist on one to five, depending on how high you set that is how high the motor helps you, whether you wanna do a lot of work or you don't wanna do much work at all. But the throttle, you can just press it without even moving the feet. And it'll be like riding on a little scooter up to 20 miles an hour. And it is so fun, especially being down here at the beach to zoom around on the beach front and just, hey, sometimes I pedal, sometimes I like to get a workout, but sometimes I like to just use that throttle and go on a joy ride. And I have probably taken it on almost a hundred miles in the first two weeks of use. That is how much I've been enjoying it. I try to give Olivia time too on it and not hog it. And she's taken it out for a few spins. So both of us really loving the Blix foldable e-bike. Here is what a reviewer has to say about it. I turn 70 next month, but on the new Blix Vika Plus, I still feel the rush of freedom I felt at 12 when a bicycle was my transportation, recreation, and work vehicle. I had a paper route. I agree wholeheartedly. It makes me feel like I'm 12 years old again, taking that bike out for a spin and seeing how fast I can take it. Awesome foldable e-bike, definitely check it out. All right, so we're up to number three. This one is a very unique gift that I have found so enjoyable and it is a moment lens for your smartphone. What this is, is like a wide angle lens, an anamorphic lens, a macro lens. There are many different types of lenses you can get and they're kind of just like a DSLR lens, except made for your smartphone. You get a case, you snap that case on your smartphone and then screw in these lenses and it transforms your camera phone to a beautiful camera that can take wide angle shots or zoom in on the macro level. These lenses are start right around a hundred bucks, which I thought in the beginning was a little expensive, but it has made the photos so much better whenever we're taking them out by the RV. If you're at a national park, you'll be able to get so much more in that shot and it'll make everything so much more beautiful when you're taking pictures or doing videos. It's not ne necessarily specific to RV life, but with the amount of traveling that RVers do and the pictures and videos they take, I really believe that these lenses up the quality of those to a actual camera level and that's been pretty awesome. All right guys, number two on the list. <laughs> this one is for all the ladies to give to their husbands. And these are RV steering wheel check bands. So what these do are remind you of everything that needs to happen on travel day. They wrap around the steering wheel and you can put them down once the task is complete. Everything from detaching your electrical, detaching your gray and black water, putting in the slides, putting away the cabinets. They have a few bands that you can customize yourself if there's something unique to your travel style that's not like most other travels. And I promise you, if you have ever forgotten to do something on travel day, like we have, like so many people have, that these bands will come in handy because you won't be able to grab that steering wheel without seeing that a task hasn't been completed. They're great stocking stuffers. I think they're around 18 bucks for a pack, pretty affordable and definitely it'll save you some headache down the road. All right, y'all, so the number one gift on the list and one of the number one gifts out there in both in RV life and camping life is the Solo Stove. This bad boy is amazing. I'm gonna take it out of the box, show you what it is. This is also the giveaway that we are doing. We are giving away one brand new Solo Stove. Two weeks to enter, we'll get it shipped off before Christmas. All you gotta do is click the link in the description or in the comment section, simple one-step process. So let's open this up. All right guys, so here is the solo stove. This is a beautifully constructed 
uh, cylindrical fire pit and it looks a little funky. You can see all the holes in here and uh, around the edges. It has a lid you put on top and a stand you put it on. And uh, the thing about this is that in the years past, one of our number one RV gifts has been a propane fire pit. While we like propane fire pits, there are a lot of downsides to them. You have to have a propane tank nearby. It puts off a little bit of propane odor at times. With this, you get a natural burning wood fire. All of these holes increase airflow, which makes the flame bigger. And with that, it decreases the smoke almost absolutely. So you will never have smoke chasing you around the campfire. And review after review on Amazon has proven that point. We haven't been able to light this up yet because there is a burn ban right now. So that has been a challenge, but I cannot wait to give this baby a try. With the solo stove though, it's easy to clean. All you do is wipe out the inside of it, empty out the ashes. It also comes with a carrying case to keep it protected. It looks beautiful. This is the smallest version of kind of like the campfire edition. It's called a Ranger, still super big. What's best about it is that once that fire gets going and uh, putting off the heat, the walls of this also are gonna radiate the heat, producing a much hotter campfire experience. So I love it because it's not gonna be propane. You're gonna get that natural burning wood. You're gonna get a huge fire burning efficiently with no smoke. And that is pretty awesome. We hate smelling like campfire smoke. This is a wonderful solution where we don't have to lose any of the ambiance of a fire pit. Now, again, like I said, we are giving one of these away to a lucky winner. The giveaway will be open for two weeks. Make sure you get entered. This unit costs 230 bucks. So it's not, an, it's not necessarily an inexpensive gift, but the construction is beautifully made. Looks like this is gonna last a long time and you're gonna be the talk of the town with a smokeless wood-burning campfire. The links for the giveaway will be below. The links for the 101 gift ideas will be below, and all of the links for the gifts we talked about will be below those. So lots of resources here, no excuses not to find the most perfect gift for the RVer in your life with our 101 ideas. Again, everything from a few bucks to a few hundred bucks try to cover the whole gamut of gifts no matter what your budget is or how much you like your loved one so thank you so much for joining us merry christmas we hope your holiday season is awesome have an awesome thanksgiving this week and enter that giveaway to win one of these free stoves it'll be shipped off right after the giveaway ends in two weeks so enter quickly it's a one-step process no liking sharing any of that stuff very simple giveaway to enter Thank you guys again for watching this video. We'll see y'all later.